Hey everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over how to load, unload, and remove clogs on both the NWA3D A5 and the NWA3D A31. Because the way that they load and unload filament and get rid of clogs is the same, which is really awesome about it. Because this one is basically just a big sister of this one. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to load filament into the printer. And to load filament is also the same way that you're going to push a clog out. So to do that, you're going to use your control screen, and the control screen settings are the same on both of them too, to be able to select to preheat our filament. And our filament type is PLA, so that is what we're going to choose on our filament. So um, on our control screen, we're going to go ahead and pick the button, and then tap it, and then we're going to go to where it says preheat, and that is inside a setup. And we're going to find preheat PLA right there, and that's what we're going to go ahead and tap. So now that's going to heat up to 220, and that's going to be our printing temperature, so we'll be able to feed everything in there. But if in the case of this, this might be really close to our build plate, and you won't even see the filament come out. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up so I can actually see and adjust it. So to tap this, I can adjust this screen by uh, going to Controls, and then go down to where it says Move Axis there on the bottom. Whoop. There we go. And tap that. And then we're going to go 1 millimeter and tap that. And then here we can move our X, Y, our Z, or our extruder. We want it to go up and down, though, so we're going to move our Z. And then we'll go ahead and just spin that. And then that is going to go up, maybe, you know, like 40 to 50 is fine. And then that will be lifted above the bill plate, so we'll be able to see when we load our filament through. So we want to have that nozzle above so we can push our filament through and make sure that it's working. So now that our filament is going up, we see this number right here. It's getting a little bit closer. It's getting to 220. And we also want to make sure that our filament is still in these holes right here because we want to make sure that it's not unraveled from these holes if we're not printing because otherwise it'll get tangled, just like weed eater line or fishing line. So we want to take it out of here, be able to feed it in, and then make sure it's going to feed in straight. And we also want to clip the end of this off. So we can do that while this is heating up. We can go ahead and get our clippers. They came in our toolkit. And inside of there, we'll be able to get our clippers and then clip this off of there. And we'll clip it at a nice point, and that will make it easier to feed into our printer, too. So now my temperature's up, and it's, uh, it's still rising a little bit. And as it's rising up, what we can do is we can look back here, because this is where we're going to load. We're going to squeeze this lever right here, and then we're going to feed this through this hole right here, and then it's going to go through this part right here, and then all the way through this white tube, all the way through, until it won't go anymore. And then when it gets preheated, we'll be able to push it and actually feed our filament through there. So if we squeeze this right here, we can actually push it. This mine is uh, 219 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and push it through by just squeezing this knob right here. And that's how we can push everything through. Sometimes you can kind of wiggle a little bit, but you squeeze this and then push this all the way through. And then we get it through to the end. We're going to go ahead and push it just a little bit more. There we go. And then you'll see the filament coming out of the end of the nozzle right there. And we don't want to grab and reach in there with our hands because that nozzle itself is hot. So that's what we can use our tools for. So you can use the clippers. Or I'm going to use these pliers right here to reach in and grab this. But this color filament, you can see, that's still the blue filament that I had in there before. So I need to push more to actually clear that clog out. And to clear that clog out, that's what I'm going to push through right now because that's also a way that we can make sure that our new filament is all the way loaded in. So I'm going to go ahead and push it a little bit more. There we go. Do we see the maroon coming out? There we go. Now I can see the maroon. So I'll go ahead and grab this. Grab this out of the way here. There we go. So now it turned maroon as it was coming out. So it went blue to maroon. And that's exactly how we want it to be. So now that we know our filament's loaded, what we want to do is now we're ready to print. But we want to unplug it because we never want to leave it on and heated when it's not printing because that is something that can usually cause clogs. And by causing clogs, it leaves it baked inside of the nozzle. And if the filament gets baked inside of the nozzle, it'll turn into this giant black carbon clog. It'd be kind of a hassle to get rid of. So to get rid of it, we'll try to push more filament through is what we can try to do if that unfortunately happens. Or we can actually pull filament out to do what's called a soft removal. So when your printer is uh, cooled off and off and you want to remove filament, you can take it out when it's at 220, that's fine too, but we always recommend taking it out when it's only at 100 degrees. And that's called a soft removal because it's in a semi-solid state between being completely soft uh, and melted and completely solid and hard. So I'm going to do that on the A31. I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the A31 on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our soft removal. 
And the stock removal is found by tapping the button. And just like on the A5, it's at the same spot. We'll click Setup. And then underneath Preheat PLA, you'll see Preheat Soft Pole. And that's what we're going to tap. So when we tap Preheat Soft Pole, that's going to heat up to 100 degrees. That's our new temperature that we're going to. So it's going to heat up to 100. And then we're going to be able to squeeze this, lot, this lever right here and remove the filament. And that removing it at a soft pole is kind of like changing the oil in a car. It's just something that you can do to help keep your 3D printer in tip-top shape. So uh, as, it's, as it's heating up, we know that we also don't want to leave it on at 100 degrees for long periods of time too. Same thing. So when you're changing filament out, you always want to make sure that you turn your printer off because the 3D printers can print for days and days straight and have no problems. But if they're printing and there's an issue with uh, the filament staying inside of the nozzle, it can cause some types of issues. So uh, now this is up to 100 right here. We're going to go ahead and squeeze this and remove it. It can be kind of tough sometimes to pull it through. And then when we pull it out, you'll see this bit on the end. That's what we want it to look like because this actually cleared out the other colors of filament. You can see there's some other colors that are in there and actually cleaned it all the way out. And that is also a way that you can remove clogs by, by pulling out that soft removal is a great way to be able to remove everything. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this back up on here and then put it back through this hole in the side because I don't want it to come unwound. So I'll feed it right through here. And then the last thing that we can do to clear a clog is actually use one of these unclogging tools that comes in your toolkit. So you can use that when your nozzle is heated up. So we'll go ahead and tap this button and there's no filament in it. And I'm going to tap this button and I'm going to click setup and then I'll go to preheat PLA. So it'll heat up to 220. And then when that heats up to 220, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and grab like a pair of pliers so I can grab onto it so I won't get burned. And then I'm going to actually floss out the nozzle by putting it up inside of here. So there's a nozzle in here that you can actually, you can help guide it in with the, uh, with the pliers and you can guide it in so it goes inside of that tip of the nozzle. And then when it goes inside the tip of the nozzle, we'll be able to flow through in there. And, and then that can actually push up a clog or push something out that might be in there as well. There we go. And then when we push it up in there, that's actually clearing out the inside of there. And you can do that as well to try to pull clogs out. But remember to use the pliers because the nozzle is what gets really hot. None of these other parts get hot, but the nozzle itself is just like a hot glue gun. So uh, that's another way that you can floss it. You can even push this all the way up inside of there to floss all of that out if you want. So there's lots of different ways um, that you can uh, load and unload filament and remove clogs because they're all the same thing. So we're going to do preheat PLA to load the filament and make sure we turn it off after we're done loading so it doesn't stay heated. Then we're going to do uh, preheat soft pull to remove the filament. And then if there's no filament in there and you're still having issues, you can actually floss it out with this tool right here. So I hope that helps and you guys have fun 3D printing. And if you need any help at all, then contact us at nwa3d.com support. And we got your back. Take care.